<laughs> Hi, mister. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Forgive my voice. My allergies have been on fire. <laughs> Hi, mister. This is Gilligan. Hey, Deb. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Amy. Somebody's waiting for breakfast. Hi, Robin. Hi, Noor. Thanks. It's good to be back. Probably lost my voice from all the talking and laughing and also the allergies. <laughs> what are you doing? Good morning, Becky. Good morning, Mary. I was excited to see we have this coming Sunday our virtual feeding tour is going to be with Catherine again. Yeah. He's like, who's feeding me this morning? Good morning, Debbie. Hi, Christine. Good morning, Sherry. Hi, Jennifer. So we've already had a pretty exciting and eventful morning. Um, Servi the Serval refused her breakfast, or I'm sorry, her dinner and med last night. And then this morning when uh, Afton went to give her her morning stuff. She was very, very lethargic. So Carol rushed in and um, Afton, Aaron, Carol, hi, and two of our interns um, helped catch Servi. And so she is in the recovery hospital right now. They're going to do some injectable meds and some fluids because she did seem pretty dehydrated and she's been drinking a lot of water lately. So She's a 20-year-old serval, so. Oh, hey, Bethany, we miss you too. If you're on here for a bit, maybe I'll go over to Running Bear for you. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Kathy. So everybody send some good vibes for Servi the serval. She is currently in the AC um, in the recovery hospital. I haven't gotten any kind of update if Dr. Justin will be in today or tomorrow or we'll just see how it goes. Good morning, Amanda. You are just being so calm. Very zen this morning, Gilly. He always looks really pretty in the morning sunlight. Yeah. Oh. On the move now. It's like, well, maybe if I lead you to my food dish or food plate, I guess. I definitely have some vacation brain going on, so forgive me. <laughs> well, we can't spend all this time with Gilligan and not say hi to Frankie. Hi, Frankie. Hi. Also ready for breakfast. Also ready for breakfast. Uh, I think somebody just asked if Flint was going outside today. Flint's been outside for quite some time. You, you're probably referring to Poppy. And I don't know. I think that's going to now depend on what goes on with Servi. Hi, Cassie. Good morning. So we'll see. Um, depending on if she has a vet exam or not. The plan, the last I heard, was that Poppy and Rufus and Bobby, the two feral foster kittens, would be going outside in the small sections of our bobcat rehab area. And it is the enclosure that has the um, explore cameras, so they'll still be on camera there. Hi. You're just so darn cute. You're just so darn cute. Gilly's been very chill lately. Very chill. So because of all the excitement of getting Servi into a squeeze cage and into the recovery hospital, that pretty much freaked out every single cat in that area. So I'm sure poor Karma is doing morning meds this morning and I have a feeling she's really gonna have a fight, so. <laughs> 
So yeah, positive vibes for Servi, like I said. She's 20 years old, so we'll see. All right, for Bethany, we're gonna go see Running Bear real quick. And believe it or not, it's usually the first thing I do is run around to all my faves, and I haven't even seen Smalls yet this morning. I'm pretty sure she was also hiding because of the squeeze cage, but. There's a Simba. There's a Simba Savannah. Hi, sir. Look how cute you are. So cute. Sim Sim. All right, where's Mr. Bear? There's Mr. Bear. Hi, Bear Bears. Good morning, sir. Oof. Hi. Hi, cute guys. Yes, you are cute. Claire, I am actually paid staff and a keeper volunteer. I've been um, a volunteer for five years. I've been a staff for a little over two years now. Well, I know you, he, he's like 23 years old and he can still hear the feeding cart the moment it starts to move. <laughs> Beer, beers. Where you go, Wins? Where are you going? Aye. Aye. Oh my goodness sakes. He's so mad because I don't have the food. Um, how are Flint and Nabisco getting along? Um, I'm not totally sure. Nobody's really had any reports other than Flint pretty much spends all day long hanging out in the tunnel next to Nabisco and Nabisco's just kind of ignoring him now. So I thought, <laughs> rumor had it on that, that we might be opening them up together today as well. But like I said, nobody was accounting for Servi the Serval to be lethargic and feeling icky. Oh my goodness. There I go. Yeah, actually the temperature is slightly cooler. I mean, it's still in the low 80s, but it's not got the same humidity it's had lately. All right, bear bear. All right, bear bear, I get it. So let's go check in on them real quick. So we'll see um, if Flint and Nabisco go together today or sometime this week maybe. And then Poppy and the two ferals, if they'll go outside today or sometime this week. <laughs> All right. Hey, Flinster. What are you doing? Thank you so much for the donation, Jennifer. And Claire, thank you for the donation. Hi, Mister. Hi. How's your neighbor? You over there giving him all the attention and he just ignores you? What? My stabilizer can't keep up with you, sir. He's like, food goes here. Food goes right here. Let's see if what biscuit's doing. Like I said, unfortunately, because the squeeze cage had to come right through this area, everybody's a little skeezed out. Oh, there's my girl. There, my girl. She's gonna get breakfast soon. Everybody's in feeding lockout. So this is the tunnel and Flint is pretty much like always laying in it. Hey you, this is Nabisco. This is the Nabisco. So 
So none of our cats share space or have shared walls unless they're siblings or they came in together. We'd keep them together unless they prove that they really dislike each other like Cyrus and Chaos Caracals did. When they're only housed together for breeding purposes, you can tell that they really just don't care to share that space. The uh, most cats other than lions are solitary by nature, so they don't want to share space or compete, you know, compete for food or toys or any of that. But sometimes we have success introducing younger bobcats, as long as they've got plenty of space. So you see all that mesh right there. That is for Flint on this side, which he's got food on his mind, so he's not following us. And then Nabisco here is on the other side. So we'll see. We'll see if they uh, end up wanting to say hello to each other or not. You got bigger while I was gone. I was only gone for like two days. Two days longer than my normal days off. I know. How'd you get so big? My goodness. Hi. Got a Dryden. Hi. What are you doing? Thank you, Joanne, for the donation. That means there's gonna be a culona up here. Hi, culona. Can we just say hi for like two seconds? Hi, sweet girl. Creeping along over there. This is culona bobcat. Where are you going, sweet pie? She's like away from you because you're not the one feeding me. Thank you, Diane, for the donation. Oh, we've got feeders right here. So I'll clear out because I don't want Kelona and Dryden not to eat just because we're over here. Isn't that cool how he's got that really dark rough? He's the only bobcat out here that has that. It's really amazing. All right, actually, we're going to walk towards Kelona and hope we shush her back up to the front. Because that's where she's going to eat. Hi, baby girl. Hi. You're so pretty. You're just so pretty. Here she goes. No, Claire, the only bobcat here that's part of our rehab and release program is Poppy, who is in rehab. The other cats that come on property are permanent residents for various reasons. But we would never ever put a bobcat we intended to release back into the wild up front where all of these people are. The whole point of rehab is isolation and keeping them really wild. All of these cats, for one reason or another, were raised by humans or imprinted on to the point where they could never actually be released back into the wild. little girls get breakfast. Hi, little girl. Oh, 
Well, you better come back and finish that. She's just freaked out by the golf cart. You better come finish this, lady. That golf cart not gonna hurt you. That golf cart's not gonna hurt you. Yeah, we also, we never make eye contact or talk to the rehab bobcats ever. And the only time we do is during medical procedures. And if anything, that helps them become even more fearful of humans, which is what we want. We never would want to release a cat that's just going to run right up to a person or, you know, a dog or a cat and end up getting themselves killed or being put down because they're a nuisance animal or something like that. So you better get every last bite. This is Smalls. We've seen a lot of bobcats this morning. We've seen... Well, we started with Gilligan, but we've seen Frankie. We saw Running Bear, Flint and Nabisco. Where are you going? Where are you going? And so, oh, I'm also very excited. First of all, if you guys haven't donated on Deb's fundraiser for Jamie's birthday to help reach that goal, I would really love for you guys to do that. Her birthday was Thursday. And the fundraiser is for new toys for Manny Jaguar, Duchess Tiger, and then to fund six months of rehab care for Poppy. But I was with them over the weekend and I very clearly said, now if you don't want to do this, please tell me. But they were totally on board and Victor seemed kind of inspired. So for my birthday next month, I'm going to be doing a fundraiser for Smalls and haven't worked out the logistics yet. At one point we were literally talking about giving people like lazy rivers and <laughs> it got really creative, but also very time consuming and very expensive. So you can see with Smalls, she has this one really tall platform over here, which she's actually becoming pretty fond of now. She has like the tree, unfortunately is caged off. It was to keep the older, servals out of it and she's got all this space down there with just a bunch of stuff that is on the ground but nothing for her to climb on so we are gonna try to do a fundraiser for Miss Smalls here and build her like a really awesome jungle gym playset, kind of similar to what she had down in the other one, but maybe with some other fun stuff like ropes and stuff. So that'll be next month, but I really want to see Jamie's hit uh, the goal. So, so yeah, we'll fundraise for a little cage makeover for Miss Smalls. It'll be a super fun, won't it, lady? So I don't know, maybe like down in this area where this little igloo and Kularu are, cause she's never liked her Kularu. That was never something she played with. But she has like this whole section, she has this whole section. So there's a lot of different areas we could do something fun. But since she's so zoomy and young and loves to claw things, so that's what we're gonna do. I even thought about maybe we could, if we raise enough money, we could order one of the signs for the side of the enclosure that would be like, you know, in support of like the Facebook Live viewers or something like that. It'd be fun. So still working out the details. It's gonna be super fun though, huh, lady? Yeah. Awesome, only 1100 left for Jamie's fundraiser. So when this live ends, go find Deb's fundraiser for Jamie's birthday. It was a milestone birthday, so it's a really cool fundraiser. Oh, okay, all done. Yeah, she, Small's got a huge upgrade as far as the size of her enclosure, so she just needs more fun stuff in there. Thank you, Elizabeth, for the donation. Let me go back out this way. Oh, I'm blinded. I can't see anything.
gonna get back on my cart because I'd like to go over and say hi to Cyrus and Kimba and Kali maybe, and then we'll call it a day because most likely if we move the babies outside later, I'll go live or if we do any kind of procedure, I'll end up being live. Yeah, this was what the old place that the Smalls had before she moved. So let's go see. Oh, I need some breeze. It's hot enough in general, but then when you also have to wear the mask. Whew seen stars a couple times so far this year. <laughs> yeah, I was gone for like off property for like three and a half days, which is longer than normal. It's usually two days at the most. And I, every like hour I was checking Poppy's camera and it was very exciting the day that I finally saw him cuddle and play with, um, I believe it's Rufus, the boy. And the girl stayed scared for a couple more days. But when I finally saw all three of them in a little cuddle puddle, I was just like, I died. <laughs> so cute. Made me very happy. I knew they'd turn a corner eventually, but you just, sometimes your heart's just like, just all get along, please. Breakfast. Well, I can't bother him with breakfast. Let's see what. Maybe we'll walk over to. Oh, Kalise still has breakfast too. Oh boy. Uh, Melissa, I do. I know what the next five things or six things for auction are. <laughs> uh, our eBay auctions have been doing really, really well um, since we've been closed to the public. No guided tours, which is a huge amount of revenue for the cats and for the sanctuary. Um, you know, we've had to get creative in other ways, so that's why I'm doing the Sunday, you know, virtual tours that we used to give started auctioning um, unique items from the cats on eBay. And so we are two in so far. We've um, done Amanda Tiger's paw print and Malachite Rehab Bobcat's paw prints. And the next one up is gonna be another tiger. But it probably won't be until August. Um, Jamie and I were talking that it might be a little more exclusive and we'll be less pestery to everybody's email. So um, it'll probably be like the first week of August when we do the next one. So this is Kali just eating like a six pound piece of red meat. She 
She's just in her feeding lockout, so she's got an open door right behind her and she can walk out as soon as she's done. She's a clean plate girl. Very brave bird above her. Kali, Kali! I think you got it all. Yeah, of course I'm gonna leave you guys wondering. We have to build suspense. <laughs> well, so far for the auctions, we're just trying to do things that are actually physically from the cats, like their paw prints. I think we might do some paw castings at some point. We'll probably do some um, paw paintings, which is gonna be, um, Ooh. which is we've seen us make them before it's usually a reward that keepers get where we kind of splatter some paint on a canvas and we hold it up to the side of the enclosure where the cat can rub against it or they can stick their little paws out and kind of patter all over the canvas and then we sell those kinds of things as well let's see if she wants just a quick close-up. We'll go back down to Cyrus, and that's probably where we're gonna end for today. I'm probably not gonna have a voice, and if we wanna keep doing these this week. Yes, hi lady. I missed you. I missed you. Breakfast was pretty good, I see. So we'll keep you guys in the loop about Servi. And of course, if we end up taking the babies outside for rehab, or if we put Flint and Nabisco together, or anything else exciting comes along, you know we'll go live if we can. I keep, I love that during all my lives now, everybody's constantly saying, oh, I sponsor this cat or I sponsor that cat. That's incredible. And thank you guys so much for doing that. You can sponsor any of the cats that call Big Cat Rescue home for as low as $25, all the way up to the King of Beasts, which is $5,000. And you can do that at bigcatrescue.biz. And every single cat needs more sponsors. Um, you know, when we, taken a cat a lot of them will live into their early to mid 20s so that's a lot of ongoing care I love that it, it's like a, you know everybody tries to like collect as many as they can because <laughs> you get a beautiful photo of them and each level has different little uh, perks Yes, I know. Bath time. All right, you get your privacy. Get your privacy. All right, we're gonna go to Cyrus and then we are done for today. Really, really appreciate the six of you that have donated. 100% of your donations goes to the care of these cats and it always makes it really worth doing all these lives. Hi, mister. I missed you, sir. I missed you, sir. Hi. I sure miss this boy. Yeah. 
This is Cyrus Caracol. Yes, he needs no introduction, he says. You need no introduction. I missed you. I missed that boy. Yeah. I know. <laughs> ah. What'd you get into over the weekend? Yeah. Just all the sickles. All the sickles. I know. Uh, Jamie, I haven't heard any update about that Wakatee Zoo. I know that PETA's really going after them and we've been raising awareness and it is horrible. It's like my worst nightmare for those animals. But I haven't heard any update. Usually all that kind of stuff, you don't know about it till it's happening. And that's kind of the whole point of most rescues. But I sure hope something happens soon for those animals. I know the tiger appears to be in the worst shape, but I know she's not the only animal there. All right, mister, I gotta go like do work stuff. Yeah, I gotta do the work stuff. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out this morning. Yeah, <laughs> he agrees. You agree. So silly. So silly. If you were new to us today and you like these lives, make sure you go learn about each cat. That really helps a lot when we're walking around because I can't always read every comment. So that's at bigcatrescue.org slash cat bio. And if you want to rewatch this live, go to dailybigcat.com. And I may see you guys later today or tomorrow, depending on what goes on. Every day is different. Oh, here's Nikita. Nikita's going to sing us out. What'd she say, Cyrus? Can you translate? Can you translate that? Nope. All right, guys. Have a great day and a great week. See y'all later.